Hello YouTube, Gary Robinson here. What we're doing today is a very quick video tutorial on how to use QuickTime Player to do professional video recordings using a webcam, which is why I'm recording this on my webcam and not on my camera. QuickTime Player is a great app with a lot of applicability to many things that you do on your computer. In fact, if you have QuickTime, you may not even realize it, but it does a lot more than you'd think. It's the basis for watching videos in Finder on a Mac and all sorts of other cool video-related uses. Now, in order to do a webcam recording, it goes without saying that you will need a webcam. You can use the webcam on your computer. Almost all Mac computers come with a webcam from iMacs to MacBook Pros, or you can use a separate USB webcam. In my case, I have a Logitech webcam which records fantastic quality video, as you can see here. In order to do professional quality videos, you will also want to have a pro USB microphone. Mine is this guy right here, it's called the Samson G-Track, but there's many, many professional USB microphones available out there. Shure has a particularly great brand that's very popular with a lot of podcasters and other online video creators. Okay, so let's open the program up. When you first open QuickTime Player, you won't necessarily see a window, but you'll tell that you're in it because in the top left corner of your screen, your computer will say QuickTime Player. So you go into the menu and you go File, New Movie Recording. That's how you start a new recording with your webcam. You can also, on a Mac, use the hotkey Command Option N, and that will open this window. As you can see on the window, I am now recording myself on my screen and also recording myself on my webcam. But anyway, you don't need to worry about that. When you click on new movie recording, you will see this window with you on your webcam. Now you want to go into the settings for your recording. So you click this little down arrow right here and under camera, these are grayed out right now because I'm actually recording video and my screen at the same time. It's a little complicated, but anyway, in this menu, you will see camera and there is FaceTime HD camera, which is built into my computer. My iMac has a face time camera like I'm touching it right now but as you can see my finger is not over the lens that's because that's my computer's webcam and then there's HD Pro webcam C920 that is my Logitech camera and if I put my finger over the lens you can see that that is the camera that I am now recording to then there's microphone now this is really important because as important as good video quality is to creating professional online videos sound is just as important if you create a video with crappy sound there is a special place in hell for you. You'll see lots of tutorials on YouTube that have really crappy audio where people turn on their computer and they record using their computer's default microphone. That is a bad microphone. You do not want to use that. So if you've got your professional USB microphone plugged into your computer, you will see an option down here, USB audio codec. Now. That option is what it's called on my computer with this microphone. Your option may look different, but basically you don't want to use the microphone from your webcam and you also don't want you to use the microphone from your computer. You want to use the third option. In my case, that's USB audio codec. And that is why if I tap on my microphone, you can hear that. There's a useful way to make sure you're on the right audio source for your recording. In the bottom of the window, you'll see this little bar, that thingy right there. You see that? That's moving back and forth as I talk. That's because the audio from my voice is what's being recorded on the video that you're watching right now. Now, if you look at that bar and then you tap on your microphone, if you're set up correctly, you'll see the audio bar jumping back and forth. So like this. See, there was nothing on the bar, and then I tapped on the microphone, and there was sound on the bar. If I was incorrectly set up with my audio recording from my computer, the bar wouldn't have moved because there's no tapping on the microphone. But since I'm recording to this microphone, tapping makes the bar jump back and forth. So the last thing is pretty obvious and self-explanatory, but when you go to quality, you want to go to high or maximum. For most people, high is going to be fine. It records at what's called 720 HD, which is one step down from 1080. If you really want to go all out, go for maximum, and that will record the biggest screen size that your camera is capable of. However, do realize that those files will be huge. Now, when you're done recording, I'm not gonna do this right now because I'm still recording. When you're done recording, you want to click on that window, that little stop button right there, and that will stop your recording. But you're not quite done once you've done that. After that, you need to go up to QuickTime Player and click File and click Save. I can't do that because I'm in the middle of recording, but when you click Save, it will ask you where you want to put your file and you put it on your desktop or your Dropbox if you're sharing it with somebody else, wherever you want to put your video file, and then you name it appropriately and you save it. That will create the actual 
movie video file that you want to use in your editing. If you don't save the file, you won't be able to access it later. So don't like quit out of QuickTime without saving your video. I'll show you an example here of a video I have saved on my Garrett hard drive video, Garrett's Games Deus Ex. In folder number four, this is that video. This is something that I have recorded with QuickTime and which I then use for the production of my actual videos. So that's how you do professional video recording with QuickTime Player and a professional webcam and a professional USB microphone. Now, remember, make sure you're using the right camera, the highest quality camera that you have, and the right microphone. Don't use your computer's default internal microphone. It will look it will sound terrible. Do the tap test to make sure that you're recording to the right audio source and then make your video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you're doing professional video recording at home, it, this, is, this is a great tool. This is, this is what you want to do. And this tiny little step using QuickTime Player will give you a big advantage in video creation. You will have more professional video and audio quality than the majority of people who are currently creating content for YouTube. But not me because I grabbed my camera. Thanks for watching. I release tutorials on a semi-regular basis, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel where you'll also get to see me play video games and watch my daily vlog. I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye.